Hi guys, I'm Exact Chaos and welcome back to another episode of Workers and Resources. It is getting kind of chilly over here. Uh, not cold, quite cold yet, but we'll get there soon. Um, and uh, we're about to finish off these guys. So let's uh, get straight into it. That one has just finished off. No one's moved in. That's awesome to see. So we can actually move people in ourselves or at the very least bring them over with dollars instead of rubles. So we're going to be able to do that uh, straight away. I will let the game run because we've got various construction projects underway. Uh, and then we'll uh, check into some of the comments that, uh, that you guys left. Thank you so much for that, by the way. If you are enjoying this series, I would really appreciate you hitting that like button on this video. And please Please subscribe to the channel if you enjoy this kind of stuff okay so um, um, so so Radomir has told me that uh, that we need a technical university and that at the moment we've got a medical university oh it's amazing to see that we've got three students here that's really awesome that's really awesome um, so we need, we've got a medical university and this is a this is like a communist um, the, 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 the Communist Party headquarters kind of variety of university this one so neither of these will be able to do the research that we want we need technical universities to be able to do that so I don't think we're going to do it over here so I mean the research that I'm talking about is this various industry this kind of stuff so the mechanical components and semiconductors and electronic circuits those kind of research um, we'll need a technical university for so I believe ultimately in the town of Arinsky over here we'll have a technical university and I did get some smaller versions of that in the mods to have a look at <clears throat> so that's going to be good um, we're still going too fast uh, in terms of the construction um, and I've, I've noticed that in the last episode yes we are we can't be building all of these things straight away we just don't have the economy to sustain that so we will be slowing down our construction rate getting the big ticket items like the power plant and the steel mill up and running and then every now and then we'll add a little something in between for our town like some more housing or something like that i also think we need tons more workers uh, it's good to see that we have some workers over here at least and that we have some workers over there we will need more workers i think more workers will help us out quite a lot i also think that <clears throat> that our uh, our education is our problem and not um, the pollution as much the pollution is a problem it is supplementing the problem we have but really we need to sort out our education level so if we go in here and now we've got so many trees over here it kind of looks like nice actually um, now we're actually getting a lot more people educated and if we go and look at the numbers here <clears throat> i believe um are we up i can't remember if what was our number here yeah, but I think we may be up around 50 or even 100 people um, since the last time. Or was it? I, don't, I can't remember. 580. I think 580 or 560 or something was where we were at. So anyway, we are seeing um, growth in our educated um, citizenry. And that's awesome to see. That's awesome to see. And I think once we have that and we get more university educated people, then our, um, our health system will sort things out a little bit more. And as we should probably be able to see um, over here, Health is starting to pick up. These are going into the 90% over here. And these that used to be 50 and under is now getting closer to the 70s. So I do I do think we uh, education was our big ticket item there. Um, allow workers to travel back home. So we've got our lines here, right? Taking people to the gravel and so on, gravel station. And then we're not allowing people to um, load here. Um, so people are asking, well, can't people, people won't be able to get back home. And yes, certainly in reality they won't. But in this game, they just kind of disappear off the work site once they've done their shift. Um, and so they don't need to actually travel home. And so that's why it's in there. It does, probably doesn't make much of a difference because there's no, no one else that can jump on here and take the route back here. But the reason I'm doing it is to kind of guard against that in the future where we have um, someone originating here and then coming in here to come and work somewhere where we don't necessarily want that to happen Okay, and then construction equipment um, like the, um, uh, the These um, These dozers and these excavators are very very slow We need the open hull trucks to move them and we do have the open hull trucks here to move them But I find that the open hull trucks prioritize moving the building materials um, as they probably should uh, and so many cases we find that these big equipment just uh, kind of drives there themselves um, so that's kind of the issue so maybe when we um, reduce our um, our construction burden on these teams they will uh, eventually go and 
um, use the open hole trucks to get to where they want to go. Okay, let's have a quick look at what is going on with our our work here. We've got less than a thousand days left for this construction over here, which is awesome. Uh, 21 days of construction left over here. I hope we can get that done before we reach into winter, September, October, November. I believe until November we should be fine. Then we won't see snow before November, I think. I will, it seems like this heating exchanger here is in fact, in fact working um, using the large pump or the large pipes into the pumping station with small pipes. So I think what we may do is we may switch this one over, but we'll keep this station here. So that's one of the things that I would like to do. Um, is maybe put the pipe, uh, connect the, this pipe into here so that this one actually runs off of the, the large station. And this one is basically then supposed to be a backup. It'll probably help these guys out a little bit, but it's supposed to be a backup instead of anything else. How far do we have on this in terms of construction? Still 150 days left here. Lots of uh, workers should be available in this area. So hopefully that'll happen. Oh, seeing more and more students in here which is awesome. That number is not going up, but that number is going up um, fairly quickly, I might add. So that is really good to see. Teachers, are teachers supposed to be university educated? Yeah, I believe they are. So we definitely need to make sure that we keep that number up and we need to make sure, sure that these guys keep coming here for some education so that we can get that number up as well. So that's on 91. This is on like 680. So we'll see how that keeps growing. Okay, now we need people in here. I don't believe we have anybody that's kind of 21 and older that we need to move out. So for the time being, I will go ahead and procure us some more um, immigrants using our dollars. So we'll go ahead and fill up a, a, a considerable portion of that. We had some education come along with that, but not any university education. So we'll see about that. I'll leave a little bit open here so that we can at least... Um, have some room for any um, natural kind of births in here so that they have somewhere to go. That's one thing that we'll do. Um, this should hopefully get finished fairly soon and then we'll get some more workers, pay more dollars and get more workers. What I will do in the meantime is I will go ahead and get this road all graveled up because I think our infrastructure team is in fact uh, available to do that. So let's get that sorted out. We'll get that first section built and then we'll build the rest so that we can prepare ourselves to start work on our steel mill over here. That's going to be really important. And I do wonder whether we should maybe squeeze in another maybe residential building. I think once we finish this one, it's fine. Then we'll, then we'll have another look. For the time being, our population is not high. It can be much, much higher. I'm happy to see ooh, our escapes is a little higher than I would like to see that. That number must be much lower, but I am happy to see that our births are significantly higher than what is it, than our deaths. So that, that really helps us out quite a lot. But our escapes is becoming a bit of a problem. And my question with that regard is, do we have food? Food and meat is available over here. Um, over here, we are starting to see a little bit of a problem. People not necessarily getting the clothing that they would like. Um, so I'm, I'm worried that this shop that we've got here, oh, here it is. Now it's, oh no, no, that's the barn. I don't know why it's not actually pulling the goods through. It used to work initially, and now I think there's some kind of issue there. I don't know what the, what the issue is there, whether the barn is not working or the small shop is not working, but this is my concern a little bit with the, um, with these things. So if we have a look at all the modded items, at least sometimes you don't know whether the latest update of the game actually does something to it. I wanted to have a look in terms of our, um, satisfied or satiated mm, demand for, uh, for food. That looks really good. I think. Um, these are new people, so they still need to go out and get their food where they need to. So I'm, I'm confident that that will come up. Um, high 90s is a good number, and I think people will be quite happy. Uh, obviously, health over here is pretty low. That's quite interesting to see. So hopefully, they're right next door, so hopefully they'll get treated fairly quickly. So people who come here actually comes here with a, quite a low health. Our alcohol addiction is really low. I, I do like that. That means it's great. Um, there's a fair bit of sports activity here, so people aren't going to complain about that too much. I like that. And then the clothing piece is the one that I think we're struggling with the most. It's not too low. I mean, it's still quite a high above the 70s mark, but it might could be better. Um, in terms of radios and TVs and those kind of things, I think they're 
they're not as important happiness in general is really good so people should not be escaping um, I'm hoping so we'll keep an eye on that number hopefully that number is not going up um, it seems okay actually death seems to be fairly natural still also wow oh actually there's a fair bit of new people that was educated when they arrived but this number is going up really quickly I'm very 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 happy to see that what I'll actually do is I'm gonna grab one load of five expert immigrants into here also so that uh, we just keep that number ticking up as also that number is now at 96 I would like to see that number start growing naturally um, but that'll help us ensure that we have students constantly um, <clears throat> being taught education education is the key guys <clears throat> Lots of people wanting an education but not able to get one. Um, over here, even over here, we have a lot of people waiting for education um, and we just need more teachers to be able to, to really deal with that. So hopefully that will help. I'm not allowing our workers to go anywhere else, really. Our educated workers. We won't see educated workers um, pop in here, I believe. These are all either uneducated or basic education only. And that's, that's fine. How many people are working here? No people? Where's the bus? Um, I'll speed things along a little bit because we do need a few construction pieces to get done. Excellent. Workers are coming. How is this going? Excellent. So we're not importing at the moment. That's great. This is growing quite substantially and we are exporting that, right? Um, I think we can maybe lower that bitumen reserve a little bit. Yeah, so let's lower that bitumen reserve a little bit so we get a little bit more cash in from uh, bitumen sales. That should be good. This is going along tremendously. We've got all the goods purchased over here, so that should help us. Okay, our infrastructure team is should be going on over here, building that. The uh, dozers are a little quicker than these guys, but I think that's going to be just fine. We're going to fix that soon. Um, how's our workload going over here? Oh, we are producing, probably not at the most rapid of rates, but um, we are constantly producing and exporting and all these kind of things. Let's have a quick look at that number. <clears throat> our imports is uh, scary, really scary. And the big ticket number there is steel. But uh, that's flattened out a fair bit towards the end there. We need to be very mindful of that. Now we're importing a little bit of meat. But these numbers are, are manageable. The real problem item is this steel. Is this steel. Uh, really that steel. Hopefully if we stop importing. Um, so if we go last month. You know our power imports are really low. But if we could start exporting power instead. And kind of see how that goes. That would be really quite helpful to us. Okay this should finish off soon. Um, I'm hoping this will finish shortly. Yes, in a few more days, then we'll get even more workers to come on in. We've got, yeah, these new guys over there. Yeah, so this number, oh man, this is growing. This is growing really well. I am, I'm thrilled with the fact that we are now, what is the number? It is now, well, it's not even, yeah, but we do need these numbers to go up. Deaths, births, escapes. Escapes, guys, escapes is a problem, I think. I need to build a different kind of um, shop here. But where is the question? So how far can these guys walk? Given current conditions. Yeah, they can't walk very far, really. Um, and I definitely don't want to get rid of stuff. So what we could do is if we build a, a different shopping complex in here, something that's a little bit more... You know, we don't need the big one. We can build the small one, but the in-game small grocery store uh, is what we have. But maybe this small store over here, that might be good. It takes very little steel. I think we should build that one. And then we'll just make sure that there's another supply of some of these things. I'm going to move it over here just a little bit so that there is a room for um, some kind of a storage facility. Uh, how far would that be though? I believe everybody should be able to to reach here so if we I'm not gonna auto purchase goods no thank you don't do that so let's not do that and I want to make sure that we uh, don't tie that in so if I do that okay so that's okay and then I just want to see if I have room for the small storage and um, the modded one modded storage here because I really I, I can't afford people escaping you know 
If I if I squeeze this guy, I can. I can in fact squeeze this guy in there. Uh, and what's the what's the price of this guy? How much steel? Also fairly low amounts of steel that will be used for this. Yeah, so we may as well build another one over there. I do like the idea of doing that. So let's um let's uh, squeeze this one in there. That's kind of the idea. We'll get our bits and pieces up and running here. So let's get... No, not the roads. Let's get um, the, the conveyor section in there. Excellent. That's awesome. We'll commission that. And um, I think for this one, we will go ahead and put that in place there. Uh, we may as well do this also. Let's just do that. We'll get those in there. So this will now be commissioned by the... Um, by the infrastructure team, we just finished this off. Let's continue um, this one all the way up to there. Luckily, that worked. Um, so now let's get that constructed so we can get ready for that. We finished. My goodness, and we've got a worker. We just don't have. Oh, the coal will come in. Oh, awesome. Okay, first top priority. I'm just gonna. Well, anyway, I don't need to pause. We can continue. Oh, and that's finished also. And there's six people that's moved in there all naturally. Um, but I'm going to go and grab some um, some guys with the dollars also from the third world. So they're uneducated and have all kinds of issues um, along with them. But we should be able to uh, get them sorted fairly quickly. That's going to be cool. We'll get that construction underway. I'm so glad this construction is done. Now, what I need to do is I would like us to run... Then these will be costly. So I won't commission them off the bat. I'm going to try and space this out properly. So where are we going? We are heading over here. So I think up to about this road there. I can have this as... I don't want to have too many of these things really. So something like that. And then we'll make the turn over this way oh it doesn't want to it doesn't want to turn it quite if, as as rapidly as that uh, i like this because we're saving a little bit of distance here okay let's see and that's actually quite a direct run here but we probably need it a little closer to the one side there can we Can we do something like that? And then something like this. This is a lot of steel. That is a lot of steel. And then we'll... And then the idea is that we run it up to about there, say. And then I want to tie it in there. Okay, but we'll need to get all of this built first before we get to that point. But I think that's going to be quite useful. Um, can I? What I wanted to check is can I? <laughs> I'm going to be a bit cheaty over here. Can I do that and just get these to connect straight up there without... Well, we can get it to connect. But now, <laughs> just because I want to really save the steel, I'm going to try something here. So if I say do this here, right? Just like that. And I try that one more time. We can, in fact, get that tied in all the way over there. So that's quite helpful. This is okay. Maybe we can do it a few more times over here. Um, yeah, let's try and get rid of this one and that one. Oh, no. Okay, anyway. What I'll try over here is if we do something like that and we try it, I'm, I know it's probably... But we can span these things longer, right? So if I span it like this, and then we span it over here. Yeah, maybe that's about as good as we're going to get that. And I'll get rid of that one also. We'll try. Oh, no. Well, anyway, let's try and see if we just put a little road right in there. And we then try and span this section. I'm really going to try and save up on the steel now. Yeah, that's good. So at least we, we kind of got that sorted out. I just want the one there. And then we'll tie it up over there. That's the idea. That's the idea. Okay, so with that in mind, I think we can go ahead and commission it. It's 19 tons of steel to get that built. But I think it's important we do it so that we can tie these together um, and get that done. 
lot. I'm so glad that that construction has been done. That is awesome. That's really awesome. Let's get all of these little road sections out of the way. Um, this construction is awesome. The, the infrastructure construction really works quickly. Um, what's our population looking like? Wow, our escapes is still going up. These escapes is a problem. Look at this number. Look at that graph. It's going in the wrong direction. Immigrants, obviously, it's something we brought in. Um, our number of births is... And our number of deaths is really not great. Let's just have a look at... Yeah, so see, we really... We, our education is going up, but we're not getting where we want it to be. I, I do like the fact that we are getting people coming in to get that tertiary level of education. That is awesome. But I'm having a quick look at this happiness. I think that number is maybe bringing us down a little bit. The people that we brought in from the third world might not have been ideal candidates. But we are bringing these numbers up. Ooh, this number is dropping a little. This number is dropping a little. Do we not have enough doctors? We've got two medical facilities here with doctors. We really should be able to get that health number up. I, th I still think education is the issue. This is going really quickly. I like that. I like to see that. Hopefully we'll see the construction of this starting to happen. Um, yep, yeah, all of this stuff is starting to arrive. That's really cool to see also. Um, I'm also happy to see that we always have people here. Excellent. I think that's going to be really helpful. Our number here has stabilized a little bit. So are we seeing what was last month? How did we look at? Oof, that's bad. And this is starting to be a little bit better. We're kind of breaking even at the moment. I like that. I do like that. Okay, get this construction underway. There's a little bit of steel going into these facilities. Hopefully with the extra shop there, we should be able to get people to um, to get the stuff they need. And so the um, the problem with the escapes, I'm hoping, will, uh, will start to um, dissipate a little bit. What do we have over here? Are we seeing some steel being delivered? Not yet. Oh, we're still just doing groundworks. Interesting. Electronic components and steel is the uh, is the uh, expensive stuff on these heavy high voltage wires. I do want to build this one, but at the t for the time being, I'm going to just leave that as is. I do want us to get rid of this pollution, though. Um, it's October. It might start snowing very soon. Uh, let's not let's not mess with something that's working just this minute. But yeah, the uh, the guys are struggling a little bit over here. What's our unemployment rate like? That's really good. I'm I'm happy happy to see that number. We are losing these guys. These guys are coming up. Basic education is coming up, but we are losing the number of people that actually has the um, tertiary level of education. And as you can see. We don't have um, enough people to actually come and come and work here. So again, I am wondering whether we should move some of our people out. So if I go ahead and I'll just relocate one load of people there, and I'll just bring in another load of experts in there, I'm gonna have to keep doing that a little bit just to make sure that we we have what we need here. Okay, I believe in the latest update what they've done is um, now you're just moving random people. So you get a good mix of people when you move people like that. Okay, how's this construction going? Are we starting to see the construction um, occurring? No, we're still waiting on more concrete to come in, which I believe should be okay. We should have workers here. Oh, look at that. Look at that. I love it that well, all of this is actually working. Me at, Actually at max capacity for some of these. Oh man, I do like it. I do like it. Max allowed capacity, I, I might add. All of this, max allowed capacity. That is great to see. It's really great to see. Is this almost done? Then we'll do that section and then we can start the construction over there. I'm just thinking we may, we may actually need... Um, we may actually need a little bit of this whole thing is one big construction gravel uh gravel and concrete is not is not the the big big ticket items it's the steel um i'm just thinking this whole thing probably might not work if i go um in here and look at a high voltage switch
yeah we probably need to squeeze in a high voltage switch like this in order to um hook that up again yeah i think that is going to be the right call for us mm, we can do it all the way over here and that should be give us just the right lengths i think okay so i will start work on that um we just need to get a road out here so make your turn go in there and go and tie up over there so that construction should be able to go ahead then what i'll do is oh please don't do that is that two or is it just one it's two can you believe it um give me another little section of road just like over there i think that might help us out so we just have the one really it wants to take two honestly yeah that's better <laughs> that's better um let's just commission that that it's on no 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 cancel this cancel that cancel that oh no 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 what am i doing yeah yeah cancel this yes cancel this please why did it it actually felt like it worked right and now it's still doing the two of them um you know what let's just cancel that for now let's get this first section done let's get that built and then we'll see how we tie this in we might have to spend a little bit more steel than we than we wanted to all of this is up and running there's nothing here though um oh and it's only this stuff right so what i'll do uh limit the amounts that we have here please i don't want this stuff to get all clogged up with stuff so what i'm gonna try and do how much room do they have in there actually we might not we might not even need this this piece for now so let's just leave that there uh, no i do want us to run it through there so we can have a little manage that a little bit better so if we do something like that that means we should get enough stuff there so now here we have we are oh no 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 the clothing is actually being done by uh, this one so all i want us to do is add another one here so oh crap that's not what i had in mind okay now we've got a problem i have no idea what all this stuff was oh, can you believe it i hit the wrong button there okay so we need okay so we need to drop off there we need to drop off there and we need to <sighs> shall we drop off here yeah let's just do that again so this is not loading all of these are unloading all of these are unloading okay and we want to make sure that we bring in food um actually what is this this is the grocery store oh the grocery store only gets these guys okay that's fine yeah okay fine so you want food this um and that right that's all you're gonna get over there oh so we also need the store to get the meat the meat dropped off over there so food clothing and electronics that is all we need over here oh it's also servicing the pub so let's get the pub in there okay over here you've got the grocery store and you're bringing those over here you've got let's put that up to 50 over here you've got another small barn yeah what is this the small warehouse you food the, that and that um i think that's all over here we've got this uh, this shop um so for this one it's only going to be the meat and for that one it's going to be um like so perfect now where are you going to go and pick that all up um uh, from over here please so please come and run in there and here you can come and load everything it is that you need that you need to unload anywhere else right you can pick up um all of the other stuff but what i'm worried there was something else that was running i think it's this guy that may have run ran over there so that should work right it's this one this one and this one that's all of our distribution stuff in here and then i think the other one was here okay so let's uh let's leave that be they should start running straight away this guy has no distribution yes so it's exactly that so we'll need to just add because we've got a dumper in there so please come and pick up some coal stuffs over here please 
only coal that's the only one I want and you come and drop that off there unload that that one I want to be nice and high perfect so I think that should work uh, that's back to everything that we needed I don't think there was anything else that needed support from us but I think these these stores should help us out a little bit I really need to get those escapes under control it's high it's way too high it, it worries me tremendously look at that number oh, I'm so so proud of that number that number is really good but unfortunately now we don't have anybody working here though can I bring in um, a little bit of extra support on that please get our education up a little bit higher I need people to actually come and work here as professors there we go there we go I need yes yes this is important that we get people to work here. I slowly need all of this, the, the education level to go up. Yeah, so I think the way this works, they need to spend enough time here to go to level two, and then I believe their education level goes to level two, and then they're university educated. But yeah, that'll take time to get that done. So we need to make sure that we have and people working here all the time too there's a lot of people now waiting for classes so what i'll do is let's up this number a little bit so we can get more people through that's important excellent excellent good to see oh man a full auditorium just need all of these guys to slowly get oh look at that oh that's a beautiful sight that's a beautiful sight heading in the right direction over there um is this almost done yeah, the first phase is done. Now it's like steel and stuff in there. Ooh, look at this number. It's problematic. Temperatures in this building is too low. Hmm. Really? It's not, uh, it's not reaching there? Oh, no. I'm going to have to put it in here. I really thought this will reach. How can it not reach there? Yeah, but how far does this guy's power go come on that has to reach there really frustrating when that happens really frustrating get all of this stuff built i mean where where are these guys are they are they doing their stuff their bit here we're still waiting on a lot of stuff here um but i'm assuming that this construction is done okay let's uh let's continue that piece over there so that we get the uh, infrastructure team to go and deal with that. They should be assigned. Excellent. That's awesome. I don't want anybody to go and work anywhere else. I think all of this is cancelled or stopped. That number is so problematic at the moment. So problematic. How's our population going? This number is not healthy enough. Oh, look at this. Guys, really, do we have the stuff we need over here? Okay, I'm hoping that that number will now be much better. Do you have food? And you've got clothes. But anyway, we've got more shops available for you to pick up your stuff now. So let's quickly go in this again. So it, health is is going down again. I think it was due to our um, these new people coming in. And they're taking off on a lot of our health um, our, our health issues so that's that's part of our problem this bringing in people from the third world seems to be a bit of an issue oh no we're back at 50 percent over here and it might be due to yeah it's pretty cold now okay i really need us to to sort this thing out um food food is okay these guys yeah i mean the the guys that's been here a little bit longer they've got managed to sort that out um clothing I think clothing is starting to go up actually and and I think that should be quite helpful this these numbers are not as good as they should be but yeah food is good health is our biggest problem let's uh, let's jump in here and see we've got doctors and we're treating people I think at a fairly good rate oh here we see we're probably need, needing okay doctors are coming in and treating people so i think we should be okay what's going on over here are we slowly going to see people graduating that is my concern can we get this number up that number is is really healthy going up really well deaths outpacing our births still 
where are our numbers as low as they possibly can be? Yeah, some of these are really bad. Can't get food? Yeah, not good. Not good. Citizens not get able to get food is not great. But here should always be food here. Oh, now our food constantly gets drawn from the barn. The barn does have food. And so that constantly gets drawn through there. Oh, here comes the snow. So this, this next part is going to be tough on the ice. We've got the food over here. We've got the electronics. Uh, what do we... Oh, we don't need food there. Oh, man, that was a bit of a bummer. Okay, hang on. Let's make sure that we don't take food to the Morgan Valley small one. That's really a bummer. Anyway, so there'll be a little bit of food there, but that's okay. This store should do the trick. Oh, what I wanted to do is see if this guy f actually finished building. It did, so let's quickly procure. That's so, so not good. So not good. Snowplow. Let's get the cheapest snowplow we can get. Let's take like two of them. It's going to have to be the case. We're going to move you out um, over here so that you can sort out this side. Then it's you. Um, you'll move over here too. So hopefully means this area should be um, plowed a little bit better. I think all of this is being plowed quite nicely. This is being worked on. Nice. Good. So then we can start our construction over there. Um, so we've slowed down construction tremendously to focus on getting our citizens facilities up and running. Can we say see about something that's a little bit more... Um, a sporting facility or two somewhere, maybe. This doesn't cost us much, really. One worker. Where can we... Can we slot it somewhere in here, maybe? I don't want to... I don't want to waste space, but really, uh, maybe this is the is the right spot for it. Okay, so let's place that in there. We'll get us um, some walkways. Uh, we'll start commissioning that also, and then this will be built. And there's a little bit more sporting facilities right in this area here. Are we getting people to be educated? Slowly these numbers are coming up, but none of them are close to two, which is my big worry. These guys are now arriving on site. Have they filled up their fuel tanks? They have not. So that's not good. They'll immediately go and fill up their fuel tanks and then they'll start doing the snow plowing. Okay. Um, has this thing been done? Really? What are we what are we waiting for over here? Why is this? Do we need to assign this to someone else? I'm just thinking concrete. Oh, maybe we can't get concrete. Okay, okay, okay. Let's uh, assign MV Construction onto this, please. Thank you, MV Construction. Come and jump in there and do your thing. This thing should have been built by now. Yeah, exactly. So that's been built. I do need us to start exporting the power, really. That, I think, is going to be the most useful for us. What's going on with this? Okay, as long as this number stays above 500 tons, I'm happy. How's our heating? Let's just keep a close eye. Our... These numbers are not high enough. These numbers need to go up quite significantly. Let's have a look at our heating over here. Uh, ooh, it's too chilly. No, this is okay. Um, this is okay. Over here, we probably have a bit of an issue. Lots of people working here, though. Um, let's trim that back a little. We don't need this many people to work here straight away. Uh, we also don't have any idea. Oh, what I've done is I actually got a mod for heating. Where is heating? Heating transfer, small splitter, small... Okay, and then it's exchanger. Was there any heating plants here? Heating plants. Okay, so now we've got some extra small heating plants. Right, and I kind of think the right thing for us to do might be to just build some of these. So what I'll do is I'll... They all they all take a fair bit of steel, actually. They all take... Well, this one takes the least amount of steel. 
So I'll do one of those. That's going to take the least amount. Small, that's too much. So we'll do the extra small. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to squeeze this one in here. And we'll get someone to uh, deliver. Oh, it actually takes a conveyor connection. No, no need. No need for that. I'm just going to squeeze this one in here and we'll have deliveries over here. So I'd rather do this. Oh, though we need to make sure people actually work there, though. It needs power. Ooh, so it might be a self-fulfilling issue, right? If it doesn't get its power from here, it might be a problem. So I think if we can squeeze it in over here, we might be better off. But I don't think we'll be able to fit it in here. Can we? No, it's really not going to. It's not going to go in anywhere here. Yeah, I think that's the right call for us, though. Uh, here it might go. So that should be okay to heat these guys. Can I do it this way around instead? I think we can. So I'm going to plop that one in there and we're going to just build that. Come on. Okay, please do your, do your thing here. I like these guys are now working. Uh, we probably don't need this connection anymore, but I'm not going to get rid of it right now. Okay, all of this is going. That should start seeing a little bit of construction. Oh, we need to assign it actually. Why is this not being assigned? Is that... Oh, that's not built. Oh, this still needs to be built. Okay, that's fine. What's going on over here? Have we finished this one? We have. So let's uh, get the next piece done. Okay, that's good. So get that done. Then that entire section of road um, will be um, built. Let's uh, go that section too. So we get all of that graveled. So it's a lot of work to uh, ensure that your, your town actually does... We are losing people. Our education level is going up though. And our losses, our escapes have stopped. Thank goodness our escapes have stopped. We just need to keep our education up. This number is a big concern for us. If we can't sort that number out, we will struggle. But at least we are holding up. We are holding up. Is this uh, construction underway? It is in fact underway. So that's, that's useful. It's very useful to see that that is underway. Uh, I don't need all of that to be... Oh, man. Okay, what we'll do is I will get rid of some of these road sections that, that we don't need to waste our time and effort on. Um, even that... Nope, now we'll have to wait. Anyway. Anyway, I'm not going to worry about that. I'm just happy to see that people are now getting the stuff they need. How's this going? There's workers here, so we can treat the people. So education should really, I mean, health should be on the way up. No, it's on the way down. And I think this might still be to do with the, with the pollution, but can we get it up on this side? So heating is an issue. Let's just double check our heating. Our interiors are fine. People here are are happy. Their interiors are fine. This These numbers are low. I would have liked to see this a fair bit higher. Even from here, we're not seeing the kind of numbers that we would like to see. But I believe people are are fine with, with this number because if you look at this, the interior heating has dropped a little bit. Is it because we've run out of workers or what? Oh, we've run... No, no, no. This one draws coal. Yeah, I don't know. It should not be a problem. Yeah, it's back up. It's back up to the number it should be. Um, how's the construction over here going? Oh, we haven't assigned it. Um, MV construction, please. Get onto that ASAP so we can get this heat exchanger up, this small one. So I've got this, this mod in um, just to help us out a little bit. Some of these things are going to be too difficult and costly for us to build in the early game. And if we continue to build pipes the way we've done, we're never going to get um, where we need to be. So I'd rather say, so some of these are in fact too cold. No, operating without issues it seems. So they are getting their heating requirements? No, they're not. So why would you not complain about the cold? 
Hmm, interesting. What's going on over here? You're fine. You've got workers. Actually, you've got a decent amount. We're still not actually getting that one down. And this is happening. This is happily staying where it should be. We are probably exporting bitumen. What's looking like on our, on our exports? Uh, last month. Wow. Steel, guys. There's no steel. Huh? Hang on. Back. So, Soviet bloc import of resources. Electronics. No steel. So, why is that number? Is it because of vehicles? I don't quite get why that number is as high. Because none of these adds up. To, oh, it does. So, electronics was the one. Hmm. Whoa, look at that. We probably just went and bought a ton of stuff now. What? Steel. And clothes. Clothes. Look at that clothes number. Wow, guys, I think we're going to have to take out a loan just to make sure that we're not going to run dry. Because if we run dry, we won't be able to get in the stuff that we need. Can we please get these things built? Okay, they are actually being built. We are getting workers here. Construction is underway. That's great. I would love to see that heating, heating facility sort out this one. Well, now this one is not complaining. Oh, now it's complaining. Temperatures are too low. So really, the temperatures in some of these locations are just too low. I'm going to keep a very close eye. We're going to run out of money now. Out of steel. So we need another load of steel, which will mean that number will drop again. You're going to come and pick up meat. Yeah, there we go. You can literally see how much we're losing. Happy to see that all of our roads are, have been plowed. That's really awesome. Oh, that guy was dropping off workers for that. And I believe that's more steel that's come in. That's done. Good. Now, with that done, let's quickly see if we can fix this last section here. Just like that. No, it's not gonna, it's not gonna do the trick. I uh, didn't want to do that. Okay, so let's get that section built. Uh, then we need to build the rest of this. And I might have to do a quick build. I don't know. A quick build on that. Just to make sure that we maintain power everywhere. How many workers do we actually get out here? Are, are we able to produce enough power? We don't have enough. We don't have a big demand for power though. Can we please get this built though? Yes, every this is underway. So that should we should get that built relatively quickly. And power should be a thing over here. Not waiting on anything else. So the construction is going on nicely here. Oh, it's getting a, an, an appliance or a piece of equipment to come and help. Let's have another look at the, at, at our stats. Uh, that's good. That's not good. Um, that's not good. I do that number is fine that number is too high so if I go over here we will see that our yeah our numbers here are really not good enough we need to get this number up so so winter really is the problem here um, I don't have any real more money to go and spend on got enough people here now how many educated people do we have and there a fair bit can I okay let's just see where do these guys actually go we are getting the people there. We are getting them there, but getting the numbers. Hmm. I'm going to hold off on buying that now. Let's, uh, that guy just kind of disappeared. Okay, so now it's the next phase of development over here. So we need prefab panel, steel, and mechanical components. All very pricey pieces. This one is continuing to heat everything it needs to. We have doctors here. We have a few doctors here. So we've got people waiting here. That's obviously causing us a little bit of problems. This is this is part of our issue here. Do we have um, educated people that we can send to go and work in that spot? We can, in fact. Uh, I think I've moved some educated people in here. So can we just make sure... Um, that we get people to go and work there and maybe to go and work there and maybe to go and work there and then just make sure that that hospital number is quite good 
Um, that will be the plan and so hopefully that means that we'll get more doctors to come and work here. There we go. There we go. Up the number there. And this is helping. Oh yes, we're starting to see some people getting pretty close to the two there. I like it. I like it. And that number is still holding. Have we finished this construction? Not quite. It's more steel than I would have liked to spend on it. Uh, ooh, we didn't have... Let's get MV Construction to come and work on this, please. We're going to need to. Comes the steel and, and the mechanical components. Then we just need the prefab panels, which I'm sure are on the way. Yeah, here they come. Got we've got plenty of workers down here, which I love the fact that we can see that. Okay, excellent. So that construction should be up pretty soon. Then that should help. Wow. It's, uh, whew. yeah, planning. Planning, guys. Planning is the key. You need to plan out so much of this. Have we finished off these road segments? We have, in fact, finished off those road segments. That is awesome. So the infrastructure teams are available to go and do some other work. Um, yeah, but if we want to do it over here, though. I would like us to, uh, anyway, it doesn't matter for us to upgrade that little section there. I wanted to, still, we're missing this one. Uh, what I can do is I can get rid of this. Let's get rid of that so we don't need that to be kind of scraped. It would have been good if you can actually say summer roads doesn't need, um, don't need to be plowed. 20k holding. Okay, something like that should be good. Um, I'll actually pull that out of there so we don't get that done. Um, this section, I think, acts as a... Uh, actually, what we can do is I'm happy to gravel that section because it acts as a very useful little... This is not actually being used. So let's just get both of those working. Um, have we finished off this section yet? Still not. Uh, but we've only just assigned MV construction to it. So concrete... Oh, yes, concrete is arriving. Okay, good. So that should now happen, and then we can fix off that and start exporting the power. Man! It's really challenging. Is this done? Oh, this is done. Okay, let's... Uh, okay, what I need to do is let's go grab... It's, oh, look at that number. We're going up a little because we're not importing as much. So let's um, quickly assign this guy also. And we would like that to maintain a nice big load of coal there. It should be pretty easy to do that. I didn't want to put... All kinds of crazy stuff in there so now hopefully we'll have some trucks coming out to come and come and deal with that as quickly as possible that would be so helpful if we can get that heated building is too low so temperatures um so our workers are probably getting sick quicker than they should be over there how's our health Oof. health is not good how's our deaths yeah we are losing population look at that so we may have to spend more money on getting more unhealthy people to come on in. Uh, what's going on here? Yeah, that number is still dropping. We still have people actually getting their education and some of them pretty okay, but we need more people to get that educated level. But this number, yeah, it's holding, it's holding. And going up, what's the numbers like over here? We've got everybody is being treated. No one is waiting for treatment, so that's good. That is really good. That's the challenge we face here. How's this going? I need to, to finish this off. And I'm I'm tempted to actually just build this with like dollars and um, these, these two sections when I close this out. I can't afford for us to have everything stand still because of no power. Um, yeah, so I might have to just do that. So once this is built, I'll build, I'll demolish these sections and I'll quickly um, slot in two new sections and that I'm just going to build with dollars, just so that we um, we don't d drop the power on these guys. And then, I'm honestly hoping... Oh, look at that! That's creating a fair bit of pollution, though the in the mod it says it's not too bad. So now this should have a decent heating. Oh, look at that. It's coming up quite nicely. So I'm not still not going to want to be able to... I'm not going to want to put that directly into, into town. But this is a good little workaround to just get this guy functional. Where are our buses? Here comes buses with people. And I believe they will be going to work at a, a number of spots. Yeah, excellent. There they go. So we're getting a guy 
we don't really need that many guys to come and work here right let's just drop that down to like two and now these guys should be happy excellent i need that one to get more of the workers though this should be done now oh there's no workers here that bus just dropped off no one what's our population like wow that population is dropping that population is dropping big time and unfortunately if i try and fill the numbers i uh, have issues with uh, with more problems let's uh, grab a few more in there at least maybe just adding a, a little load of immigrants on, on on each one of these is uh, is not too bad i just need to make sure that we maintain a decent number of people wow at least the the weather should start to turn shortly loving the fact that we've got people that's actually going for education now no doctors some doctors how's our doctor numbers oh man that drops so badly so badly can i can i squeeze a few more of them in how much is that going to cost me i really can't afford it Are there actually workers in here? One. Hopefully one worker is going to help us get this built. I don't, I doubt it. I doubt it. Okay, this section is being built. It's fine. Okay, so all of that is good. We are practically ready to go. Oh, we had a fire? Large aggregate storage. Oof, luckily they uh, sorted that out. I didn't even spot it. Uh, we have power and we have workers here. Good. Full load of workers, really. So is that almost built? We have workers here. Just the one, though. As soon as that's done, I'm going to very quickly um, just set up new power from the switch over here. And that will allow us to export. And then maybe this number will constantly run up instead of down. Then I just need to make sure that we constantly have power uh, and workers at the power plant. Uh, we can actually go about um, fixing this little section there also. Come on, finish this off. Oh, now there's no workers here. We still need like 16 days. Okay, but we're not working on too much other construction pieces. There are stuff, goods in here for these guys. So they can do their thing. Uh, we don't have escapes, right? Yeah, escapes are down completely. It's just the deaths due to health concerns. That we're struggling with but the rest are okay so i think the next summer should we be we should be able to sort ourselves out get our population back up sort ourselves out excellent workers yeah so do we actually get spots where we run out of workers seems like we may it may actually happen that way okay this is done okay i'm gonna this is where i'm gonna do that now so let's quickly um drop this Okay, there, that's what I wanted to do. What I'll do is this one ties in there. Man, that's too much. And this one ties in there. And I'm just going to go ahead and purchase that piece with dollars. So that we can um, get that up and running. So now we should have power. And I'm going to switch off uh, the import. And we're going to start exporting as much power as we possibly can. And now the important thing is for us to make sure that we maintain um a, a load of workers in here all the time it's drawing coal directly from the storage so that's fine storage is good nice and full we are producing that now and this number i think should now start start running up a little i would love to see how much we're going to get but that's good that is really good that means we're getting heading in the right direction we've got too few doctors over here can i bring in another load i'll just have to Let's get in another load of, uh, of guys there. This is happening. We are, these guys are slowly creeping up. That number is so low. We, we lose so many people. 
excellent i think now we should be able to hold steady that number is running that number is running the export of power is is looking to be one of our best products look at this look at this i love it we just need to make sure that we constantly have workers here okay at least we're never running out of workers our bus our bus schedule running to this side is really good because this guy's going to drop off more people now just and they're going to get there just in time We might have issues with this thing running short of workers, but this one is not. Nice. Excellent. So we're like uh, overlapping our shifts. That is awesome. We have enough coal dropped off here, right? Yeah, perfect. That's good. Excellent. So this, oh, I love it. I think now, I think that was the, that's a, that's going to be the turning point. Once we get through our next, um, once we get into our next summer, I think we'll be able to fix our education issue. Um, I'll try and fix this issue also. Actually, we can start working on it. Not that we have that much steel, but what I'll have to do, I'm going to start running this one in this direction so that we can slowly start looking at decommissioning um, this facility. We could even decommission this, right? We don't need this because now this one is providing heating to all of these facilities because this guy doesn't need heating, right? Where is this guy providing heating to? Only that one. So this one can now quite comfortably provide heating to this one too, right? Yeah, quite comfortably. So we can decommission this. I was just so hoped we could get our uh, resources back. Okay, so let's start working on our piping. Uh, no, no, heating piping. So, if we go out from here, that's 3.6 tons of steel. Uh, I would like us to run it as short as possible. Okay, so let's do that. We'll start commissioning that. Um, so, it'll start that build. I'll wait for summer until I reconnect this thing. And, uh, and then we'll connect to this side also. Mm, look at this look at the spaghetti we've got going on over here how does that even work oh that they are right on top of each other so that's actually a little bit of a clash there that um, wasn't picked up but anyway we will uh, take out some of this and we'll put in a new little piece here we may actually use what we've got here and just extend it to that way because we're gonna take out this one I wish I could just grab um, and there's a mod or something where I can reclaim materials from infrastructure or buildings. That would be so cool. I would love it. Guys, I think this is going to be where we end the episode. It's been um, not eventful in terms of what we've managed to continue to construct. So we haven't started work on the steel mill yet. That'll be a project for summer. Um, but I'm very happy that we've got our coal power plant up and running that we are getting a decent amount of workers here most of the time. How many workers in this bus? Ooh, just the one. I really need us to make sure that we constantly have workers out here. You need to go not work in the mine. Okay, here comes another bus. Let's quickly see. How many do you have? Six. Okay, perfect. We need people constantly at, um, at that facility. You're the most important thing at the moment for us because we can't uh, run out of power if we run out of power uh, we will run out of heating we won't make any money all these kind of issues are going to be constant problems for us but i think we're okay i think that's going to be okay where's the next bus load of people come on and please tell me that's a big bus load five is not too bad five is not too bad we're probably losing numbers right yeah, we're losing numbers. Yeah, so I wanted to end the episode. But I need us to make sure that we um, bring a little bit more immigrants in here. So that we can... Too low? Whoa, 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 whoa. Building is without power supply. See, this, this was the issue. This is the issue. No, 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 no. Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't, don't run out of power. No workers. No workers and no power? Mm. See, this is the problem. Can't afford that. 
Can't afford that to happen. Where's our next load? I can't even see our next load of workers. How many are on here? So this might be a problem for us. We cannot afford to run out of power like that. So let's quickly go in here and say import something like that just so that everything continues to run temperatures too low now i think we're okay there now we just need to make sure we um we have power but okay guys i'm gonna stop it there the next summer will be the telling one if we get once this winter should should draw out uh, should, should be away soon i think in march we we won't need um heating anymore really or a lot of heating anymore and then we'll be able to recover from this massive loss of people um, i'm definitely going to focus on getting that education up that is uh, but this number is looking much more promising um, so we constantly have more people being educated and that is the key i think and then we'll decommission this oh that's been built we'll decommission this guy um, and so then hopefully our we won't have um, our issues with our education and our issues with our uh, sorry up with pollution and with health should um, even even be better guys thank you so much for watching as always if you've enjoyed it please hit that like button and um, tell me what you think down below in the comments what suggestions do you have your suggestions are absolutely awesome the tips and advice that you give me is awesome i read through everything um, and i just love it um also you can feel free to join the discord and we have a bit more deep in-depth in discussions over there see you next time Bye bye